everyone, welcome to Piano Val, this is Emma Lillan. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination and singing affect piano playing and how to create your own interpretation of music that cannot be done so well by following traditional way of practicing. because their tone is not rich and full enough. Unfortunately, it's not enough to just ask students to play louder. By playing louder, students would start naturally press the key more intensively and strain their hands, and that would result in a harsh tone. And if teachers try to fix that harsh tone by asking students to relax their hands, to play with more arm weight, that also wouldn't work because there will be still some unhealthy tension in hands that cannot be controlled by just saying that. Eventually students would just play everything mezzo forte in order to avoid some uncomfortable feelings and harsh tone. Great fortissima can be achieved and controlled through our imagination and way technique that can be felt through singing. First, let's talk about the imagination. You can imagine any note in the timbres of ocean, of cellos, of violins, of vocal voice in a huge, loud sound. Now, why would consider if something affects imagination, it would also affect our piano playing? It's because the energy of imagined sound affects directly the energy of um, fingertips, of fingers, of the whole body. So in the moment that we can create and hear the sound that we're about to play, we feel the same energy within our body and that energy would create the exact touch that we need to convey and express our ideas. So let's take a look on the difference between playing without imagination and with imagination. So the first I'm just gonna play like I was asked to play louder without any clear sound idea in my mind. <laughs> okay, let me remember. I definitely overpress the key and I feel some tension over there and my hands never breathe there is no release of this tension now let's imagine that I would have created here beautiful ocean of violence in the huge powerful loud but yet soft sound uh, let's see how that affect my my sensations so first of all, right away when I have this energy, I already pre-feel this energy within my whole arm. And then I start playing. Now I pre 
feel this um, energy sound in the palm of my hand and my fingers would exert right before playing the note that I'm imagining. And moreover, after pressing the key, that would, they would release the unnecessary and health attention and hands if there is any. <laughs> Fingertips because I kind of exert more. <laughs> so I definitely feel that my hand becomes kind of more alive inside, it's not dead. While playing passages, we control tone not only by finger muscles, but mostly by the weight of our body and arm. And uh, I have made a video before how to feel this weight and sustain it while playing. You can click and watch that video. For now, I just want to show you uh, through singing how weight would change the tone. So if I sing without weight, it will sound this way. But with weight, I feel more free energy within my body and that also results in the uh, quality of my tone. Now why would consider that if something affects singing that also affects our playing? Because the energy of the breath between notes gives you uh, the correct energy within your body and because we're gonna intonate every single interval this way every single interval will be played with free energy so let's come back to our scale and play it without weight and with weight and see the difference so even if I imagine every note in the huge beautiful ocean of violins very loud uh, I would play this way But still, the sound is quite flat, right? Now, if we're gonna gather energy and play with weight... The difference that I feel is that I'm not playing now only with the strength of my fingers, I'm actually feeling this energy within my whole body and within my, within my arm. So muscles over here start working that uh, never worked before when I played without weight. it's important when it comes to playing with dynamics because um, when we play without intonation and weight our forte would be too harsh and our piano wouldn't be soft enough uh, just like this you know if you just play it without any intonation but still with this great sound okay let me try <laughs> It's so wrong. It's so wrong. 
it will bring tension to your hands and everything will be flat and the sound will be harsh but when we play it with intonation when we express this dynamic through intonation and weight you see how how it changes everything super quiet tone how to play pianissimo thank you so much for watching bye bye